I was once a humble creature. A mole living an innocent life, wandering around under the earth and finding diamonds to trade for usual items. Until today. I was searching through the tunnels I dwell in when my eyes glanced upon the visage of a magnificent diamond sparkling in my path. Needless to say, I took it. After taking the diamond, I noticed that it unveiled a whole cave filled with these entrancing gems. Naturally, I took them all. Just as I was walking back to my abode, I noticed another cave in front of me. Greed got the best of me, so I decided to enter the room. But I saw no diamonds inside that room. Instead, I heard a strange chanting. But no one else was in that cavern but me. It was the Eldritch chanting of some lost race. The horrid pronunciation and demonic guttural tone left me shivering within the cold and horrid cave. There were no other passageways in the cavern, and I was about to leave the cavern when the exit collapsed upon itself. The chanting was growing faster as I heard a rumbling under the ground beneath my feet when I fell through the cavern. Then, all was black. When I awoke, the chanting kept repeating in a torturous manner, so much so that every eldritch word recited pierced a hole in my brain. I stared around the dank and hopeless cavern, where, to my surprise, I was staring directly at a sentient brain, humming deep and murky thoughts of beastly and primordial obscenities and it said these fateful words. I never wanted you to see this morning. All was black. I awoke in the hospital, unable to remember anything except for the chanting. I eventually improved in health and then moved back to my home. But I lie in fear that something terrible shall arise. That the brain was not just a foolish prank set by foolish hoodlums. I knew that the old ones would arise from the depths of nothingness. To this day, I have never left my home in the fear that they will arise as my brain is deteriorating. Every day. Because they will rise. They will rise. When the earth was still young, they dominated it. Now they are dead, but they are still alive. Eventually they will rise from the mistakes of mankind. Rise from the ashes of dead mankind. And they are coming for us when the stars will align.